Peace everyone, welcome back to the Drawing Journal. Hope you had a lovely weekend. It's different to be on the opposite side of the weekend when making this video. I have a couple things to share with you before I start drawing, but the first thing is this little uh, magazine that I got. Um, I'll copy and paste. Um, this is the uh, first issue that they use, uh, that, that's that been made um, by Seth and Jordan. They, um, they run a little uh, blog online, and I have the link in the description, but they came across some of my work and asked if they could feature me in their magazine, so I'm quite honored to be featured in the the first one, if I can find real quick where they put my picture. Yes, here. And it might look a little bit familiar because I actually drew these lips um, during the drawing journal, during the previous episodes. Um, the other thing that I have to share is that I had a little bit of fan art come from my sister, Christine, uh, which I'm excited to share with everybody. Uh, I'll have the, the video here uh, that you can click on and go watch, but she carved a pumpkin. Uh, here's those lips that are in the magazine there. Um, she, she carved a pumpkin with one of my drawings of myself uh, in it, and it was uh, pretty cool. She put together a, a little time lapse, and uh, yeah, so go check that out. And here we are. Um, back to this drawing. And what I'm going to do is uh, start coloring it now that I got to this part and I got all the marker stuff done. Uh, the markers, it's a bit fuzzy, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to clean it up a little bit uh, as I color. But um, yeah, so the purpose of this drawing, as I mentioned before, is just to practice skin tones a little bit. Um, I, I'm on the, the hunt for some new paper and some new markers. I just have the gray tones, uh, Copic, Copic markers, and I really want to try uh, some full marker pieces and so I've been searching on eBay for a good deal because Copic markers are just so expensive. And uh, I think I'm, I don't know, I've, I've, I've seen tons of reviews of, of Copic versus uh, Prismacolor markers and Pro Marker and Winsor and Newton markers. I, there's, there's tons of different markers out there. And to be honest with you, nobody does a really good review of it. I mean, I've watched way too many videos uh, and they all seem they all seem very similar uh, in both blending and design there is some there is some differences uh, subtle differences but I'm, I'm most likely going to stick to colored pencils in the long run uh, I just kind of want to add more markers to the mix and get some colors but, um, yeah, so I'm looking for those. I'm looking for some new colored pencils because these Prismacolors, the, um, I think I've, I've reached the, I've, I've reached the, the limit to these. I, I, I just don't have the patience for them much anymore with, uh, the, the breakage at the end. Uh, they're a bit, they're a bit soft and I have the very thin uh, the harder Prismacolors called Very Thins uh, that I use for my portraits and they work okay but uh, I think I think if I could find a marker or not a marker a set of uh, just slightly more dense colored pencils that would be a better better route to go than having two different kinds of the Prismacolors and uh, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Uh, I oh I'm also going to try out some 
um, watercolor pencils. Uh, I, I watched some reviews of those also. Uh, I really like the way they look and the softness that you can get in the colors. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I have two portraits that I'm doing right now. One is actually done and the time-lapse video for that will be up Thursday, so make sure you don't miss that. And um, it's it's definitely, each each portrait that I do, I feel like I, I get one step closer to the perfection that I look for. And in, in not just the drawing, but also the editing and things like that. And, um, I did, I did something a little bit different with this one as far as the editing, um, and I'm sure those that pay close attention will, will recognize the subtle differences, but um, yeah, I try to try to make each one better as every time that I, that I make one, and I think that I did a pretty good job on this one. The last one was good. But I think I did even better. Hopefully, when you see it, you agree. But uh, what else been new? And, uh, school is well. School is school. It's I don't know. I, I feel like I've just gotten to the part like the, the I feel like I got to the point where I just I just am so ready for it to be done, which um, is it's kind of not the right feeling to have right now because. Uh, I'm getting emails about my master's program. Uh, I have my application submitted, and so I get emails updating me where it is in the process. And currently, it is uh, being reviewed, and it's in the second stages of review next month, uh, about this time next month, so exact, about exactly a month away, I will find out I will find out if I'm if I get moved to the next stage of of being chosen to be in the program, and that includes a um, an interview, which uh, will be um, the tw about the twentieth of next month, and so. I'm kind of excited for that, but also like uh, starting starting all over again to do my master's, and, and I just feel like school is never ending at this point, and I wouldn't, yeah, well, I wouldn't complain if it was over. Not sure I forgot my white. Um, maybe I can do some more peach, but um, yeah, so. I have that going on. It's in. Uh, I don't know. I I'm in this. I'm in this algebra class, and it's all it's all proof writing. I won't go into detail what that means, but gosh, it's every homework is like writing a small book or something, and it's at least six pages front and back. Um, very meticulous, and detailed writing and uh, every like every time I turn it in uh, I have hopes that it will be returned with a reasonable grade and I have yet to get one returned with a reasonable grade and it's just so nitpicky it's so annoying um, just wording on a sentence that like gets points taken off and it's just oh it's so frustrating and i asked the the grader today like what like, like what what is wrong with this like that's pretty much how i asked it and i was like I was like you know you, you he writes little notes says i don't understand this and and then i asked him he's like i don't understand i was like okay well how should i write it for you to understand it and uh yeah it doesn't it was it was not very productive, to put it simply, not productive at all. And uh, hmm. what else? What else? What else? 
Yeah, Polish class is fun. That language is hard as can be to learn. Um, and quite frustrated with that class right now because I just don't like the structure of it. I don't feel like it's very conducive to learning a language. And everybody in the class already speaks like some of the language. I'm going in not completely un uh, unexperienced, but knowing the alphabet isn't much of the experience. Knowing how to read isn't much experience, considering teacher acts like everybody should have already known how to read before entering the class. So I thought that I was prepared going in, but I wasn't. And, you know, it's a bit frustrating. Um, I just had, I just sold my skateboards. I had a couple skateboards that I got and, or I've had for a while and, um, yeah, well, if you saw that drawing journal, I don't know, a couple months ago or whatever, I f fractured my wrist. Um, it was the result of one of those skateboards and, uh, I just, just don't have time just don't have time to skateboard anymore, which is unfortunate. I always enjoyed doing it when I was younger. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing it for a long time, if ever. Need to buy a bike, though. That's one thing I need to get. Of course, I'll just end up hurting myself on that thing, too. Um, oh, I do have, I do have a big project that, that might be coming up and I, I might be doing, um, a series of videos related to it. I can't, I can't give out too many details right now because, um, well, because it's not guaranteed right now anyway. It's not guaranteed. It's, it seems very highly likely that it will happen and it will I will need to allocate a lot of my spare time to working on it um, so the schedule for the schedule for my weekly time-lapse videos on Thursday might be changed into something a bit different um, if I don't have to uh, give them up entirely for a while until I finish the project but it's it's going to be a, a pretty big commission and as uh as it develops i will release more details on it but i have to kind of keep it quiet for right now because um, well because i'm expected to keep it quiet And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it's going to be a first for me. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what first? And, yeah, unfortunately, I can't tell you that. I'm going to sharpen this pencil. should have did this before I started recording, but we all make mistakes, right? <clears throat> I don't know if these colors are coming out exactly the way I intended them to. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to get some new colored pencils and try them out. I feel like it's dark in here for some reason too. Hopefully the video is bright enough. I feel like I'm drawing in the dark right now. I don't know why that is. I have the same lights on that I always do. Maybe I'm just tired. It's only, it's only Monday right now, and I'm already, I'm, the week is already too long. Yeah, I think that this is coming out pretty nice. I have, um, I only have a few more weekly drawings left, and I've, I've pretty much 
I've pretty much decided on what I'll do. Um, I have a couple ideas for tutorials in the future, hopefully the near future. Um, I intend to do the next episode of, um, geez, I can't even, can't even think. Um, the, the next episode of the archives, so I think that'll be episode four, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, and it's still time to vote. If you go over to Facebook, you can vote. I have it. It's pinned to the top, so once you go to my page, you'll see it. Um, and then once once I finish, no, I just kind of came up with this idea, so it might change. But once I finish the fifty second weekly drawing, um, that series will be over for sure. That is that is a guarantee. I will not be doing that anymore. I will be, uh, and then. What I it, what I replace it with that is what I'm not 100% sure about. Uh, I am 100% sure that I won't be doing it anymore. I'm just not sure what I will be doing instead. Um, I, I hope to focus a, just a bit more on portraits. So I hope to have one at least every other week um, if I can just get people to send me pictures which actually seems a lot harder. It seems like when I sit down and people see me drawing, they're like, oh, you should draw me, draw my portrait. I feel like when I'm not drawing portraits, everybody's asking me to draw their portrait. As soon as I open it up to do it for free for everyone, nobody sends me pictures. It's hysterical. Um, but, uh, yeah, I will... Uh, my, my plan or my potential plan is to start doing real original artwork. Uh, like this stuff is just practice stuff. Like I'm not going to take a good quality picture of this stuff and then like get prints made of it. Um, I, I have a few ideas floating around for original work that will take a, a bit more time whether it's painting or whether it's uh, larger scale colored pencil work. And uh, I think that uh, most likely that's something that I will start doing is a bit more uh, higher quality work. Uh, the weekly drawing has always been kind of developing my skills um, as uh, working with a new medium of colored pencils because I haven't been doing it for that long and so uh, I think I've gotten to the point where I can start doing original work and making prints and of course giving them the way to everybody that supports me on Patreon because that's what I intend to do. Each, uh, each new print that I get you will always get a new one for free if you sign up and uh, I mean they won't be like large-scale canvas prints or anything like that unless you pledge that much but um, they will be uh, free a smaller size and uh, yeah I've just been I've just been wanting to take a kind of a new direction with my work and doing things um, doing things that I can look at and be a little bit more proud of as far as um, as far as original pieces that I develop and design and all the things that all the things that I want to do with my work um, and so I think that's what I will most likely end up doing uh, after I'm done with the weekly drawing and uh, I just about got one leg done I don't know maybe I'll keep working on this leg until it's done and I'll have something to show you next week and then I'll try to finish the other leg next week um, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up it's coming together nicely I think I'm gonna try to get these colors a little bit more saturated so they come off the page a bit more but Hope you enjoyed the video. I will see all of you next week. 
Enjoy your week and your weekend. And I'll see you next time. Peace.